Hi guys, welcome to this week's reading vlog. So this week is going to be a little bit all over the place as far as vlogging and life in general. So it is Tuesday afternoon, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon right now. I just got home from the mall and I did pick up a few things and I'll show you guys what those are in a second. But let's kind of go over the plan for this weekend, what's going on as far as my school and work and all that fun stuff. So as far as school and work, I obviously have class Mondays and Wednesdays. Wednesday is my entire day of class day thing. And tomorrow I actually only have one class. So normally I have my creative writing class at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and my hip hop dance class is at 5. Tomorrow I do not have the dance class because my instructor wants to go out and do Halloween stuff tomorrow. So. We have the day off from school, but I do have some plans. I am going to be hanging out with my cousin and my aunt. We are going to do this trick or treat kind of thing. It's kind of like trunk or treat, so you kind of like sit in your car and give out candy that way. Uh, we're doing that tomorrow afternoon, so that would actually be in place of where my class would have been. But since class is canceled, I don't have to worry about that. So that's fun. We're doing a Harry Potter themed trick or treat. Thing. And I picked up a couple of things for that and if you guys saw last week's vlog, which I'll link in the cards, you know I did a Harry Potter themed outfit for trick or treat in my town on Sunday. So that's really fun. Then Thursday I work from 4 to 7. Friday I work from 2 to close and so same thing on Saturday I work from 2 to close. So hopefully I can get some writing done those days. I'm not sure. Thursday I think I'll be able to get a good majority of the writing done, but Friday and Saturday I don't know. So yeah, that's really all about it as far as plans for this week. Now let's jump into the haul. So I just came back from the mall, like I said, and I got a few things. So I'm going to start off with Hot Topic. So I got this thing, which I don't normally wear these, but I thought this was really cute. And this is a Slytherin ski hat, I guess you could say. It's really cute. It has, you know, this kind of like ugly Christmas sweater design on it. It says Slytherin. It's black and green for Slytherin House, which if you guys don't know, is my Harry Potter house. So I love that. And along with that, I also got one other thing. And this is primarily for tomorrow. It is this Slytherin headband. So you guys probably can't see that very well, but yeah, it's cute. And here is what it looks like. So it kind of looks like my uh, necktie that I have for my costume. And as far as what I, the beanie looks like, or a ski hat, whatever you want to call it, it looks like this. So I think it's cute. Again, I don't normally wear these, but Slytherin, why not? Because Slytherin pride. <laughs> so I got those at Hot Topic. Then we went to Bath and Body Works, and I actually got something that I had wanted this for a while, but I never really picked it up. And I got one of their candles. So I needed something to get me in the writing mood. So I got this one. Their Christmas collection was already out. And it is called Cinnamon Caramel Swirl. I just love the casing of this. Like, look at the top. It's so pretty. And this one, honestly, if you guys could smell it right now through the camera, <laughs> you would want to eat it. It smells fantastic. So I'm really happy with that. I love Bath & Body Works stuff. They are one of my favorite shops to get like beauty products from. So love that and definitely will get me in the writing mood for NaNoWriMo this month. And the last stop I made at my mall is always, I always have to go in the shop because I have an issue and that's Lush. They are my favorite cosmetics company, hashtag not sponsored, hashtag was, wish was sponsored. So I honestly spend way too much money at Lush, it's honestly a problem. So I got two bath bombs today and their Halloween stuff is going to, you know, not be available I think starting tomorrow. So I got this one which is in the shape of an eyeball and I can honestly not remember the names of this one. But it is really cute and this one has like a very citrusy undertone but it also has like a scent of vanilla. So I will link both of these bath bombs down below. So you guys can find out where to buy them. But that's really cute. And Halloween because I love Halloween. I just love it so much. And the other bath bomb that I got from Lush today is from their Christmas collection because that's already out. Holy cow. That's, I mean, it's crazy to think. But it's called Holy Night. And this is what this one looks like. 
So it is just a blue bath bomb with yellow dots all over it. And this one, uh, again, kind of has like a citrusy undertone, but also has like a scent of lavender to it, which I really like. So that was the other bath bomb I ended up getting. And I also got a couple of samples. I'm not gonna pull them out of the packaging because they will get everywhere. But the first one I got is their Baked Alaska Soap. So this is just the packaging. And again, all the stuff will be linked down below for you guys to go check out. This I think is only out for Christmas. I could be completely wrong on that, but usually I only see it around Christmas time. But this is one of my favorite soaps that they have. And the other one I got is the Cinder Sour Cinder Shower Gel. I cannot speak words today. So that's that. This one smells like a campfire, which I love. So really pretty. I love also really love their shower gels. I mostly go to Lush for the bath bombs and bubble bars, but I love pretty much all their products. So that's that. And that's really it. That's all I really have to update on. I am right now going to go watch some more booktube and then get started on my writing for class because I have a short story to do tomorrow and I only have like two paragraphs done. So I probably should work on that. But anyways, that's going to be it for now, you guys, and I will see you later. Hi guys, happy Friday. So in the last couple of days since I checked in with you guys, I really haven't had much to update on. Hence why I haven't logged. So it is officially NaNoWriMo and I will update you guys on my writing and reading in just a second. But at first I want to show you guys something I got in the mail today. And it's this book called Mermaids Are Real The Mystic Prong by Bo Wu. This is a middle grade fantasy book and it follows a character named Benji who has spent the first 12 years of his life growing up in the seaside town and he's a surfer and he's kind of gotten used to the fact that he has a gang of dolphins following him around and he hears weird voices underwater kind of a normal part of his everyday life at this point but then one day the night before his 13th birthday he actually gets a recruitment speech from an octopus named octavius and three dolphins and it's a very mermaidy journey so that's really cool and i love this cover I love mermaid books, so I'm really excited to check this out. This is a newer release. I think it just, just came out in September. I could be completely wrong. So I'm really excited about that for a couple of re different reasons. Number one is I don't read a ton of middle grade, and I've been dying to reread middle grade recently. I really, really want to reread re -read Harry Potter because it's been like almost three years since I did that. Um, but also, the num second reason why I'm really excited to read this book, and this is still something I will talk more about later after I read this, but the author actually contacted me about possibly doing some sponsored things surrounding this book, particularly on my blog, so I will keep you guys posted on that, but I'm really excited to read this. I think I might put it on my December TBR. So that is my book that I got in the mail, and also as far as a writing update, so NaNoWriMo started yesterday, and I actually surpassed my word count for day one. Our word count for day one was 1,666 words, and as of Right now, I have written 1,956 words, so I'm about halfway to our day two word count goal, which is 3,000, so that's exciting. I'm really liking where I'm taking the story. Right now, I have the first three chapters done. I'm not sure if chapter one is officially chapter one or if it's the prologue. I really haven't decided. I'll probably do that in revisions, so that is so exciting, and it's definitely made me tear up a couple of points because it starts off with a very heavy subject matter. So that is my writing update. I'm gonna work on that as soon as I'm updating you, you guys. And as far as reading, let me grab my book. So even though I actually, that's a lie, I did finish a book last night, I'll talk about that in a second, but I'm still currently reading Misery by Stephen King. And I am on page 82 of this. I read some of it at work because I had a eight hour shift today. So it was a double shift for me. So I had an hour long break and so far it's definitely getting more to the horror elements of this because this is an adult horror book. So I'm excited. You guys know I love Stephen King. So that's really exciting and hopefully I can finish this sometime this weekend. And the other update so regarding reading that I have to talk about is that I actually did finish a book last night and that is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah G. Mass. This is the companion novella collection that goes along with the Thorny Glass series. And I read this right after I first re read Harry, or uh, right after I first re uh, read Air of Fire. What am I, <laughs> words are apparently hard today, so ignore me. And I give it five stars the first time, that stayed true. This one is 
such a great novella collection. If you guys did not like Akafos, and even though because it was a standard novella, it was just one, this is a really good collection to read. I think it's really good, and it definitely gives you more of a look into what Selena was like before the events of the first novel. So I would recommend you guys pick it up. So that is really all I have to update on. I actually have to go and film a video for today because it's like 1030 and I haven't uploaded my video. So I'm going to do that now and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys. Happy Saturday. So it's currently 12 o'clock in the afternoon and let's talk about what has happened as far as writing in the past 24 hours. So yesterday, when I last updated you guys, I was about to film my Friday video and get that up. And thankfully, I got it up in time before midnight. So that's good. I will link that in the cards. But as far as writing, which is kind of more important right now, I hit the 3,000 word count that we were supposed to hit yesterday just after midnight last night. So I'm a little bit off track as far as where we're supposed to be right now but I think I'm going to be able to get back on track today. I do have to work at 2 and I'm working to a close so I'm going to get as much of my writing done before I go to work because it, I still have a couple hours um, as I can before I go to work and then finish it up later when I get back if I need to. So that's really the plan for today. No reading has been done obviously so I don't have to update about that but I'm going to bring Misery with me to work so I can read it on my break and yeah that's really about it so I'm going to go ahead and go right and I will chat with you guys later. Hi guys happy Sunday so it's 10 o'clock at night currently it's been a long long day so I had work from 11 to 3 today and then I came home and watched some football for the majority of the night and ate dinner with my parents and that's really it. That's really all that I did today because work took up such a good majority of the day. Um, but I do have a writing update for you guys. So yesterday I was supposed to be at 5,000 words for my word count for this novel for day three of NaNoWriMo. I'm still behind by, well now we're supposed to be at 6,666 that words um, so I only have 4,613 so I'm ca slowly catching up about have about 2,000 words to write today if I want to get back on track with this novel and I think I can do it uh, I have what I've been doing and I haven't really talked about it since I started the outline but I stopped outlining this because I kind of ran out of time at chapter 6 and that was on Wednesday and currently I just started chapter 6 so I'm going to catch up where, where my outline stop and then maybe write a little bit more and just try to catch up on my workout and then I'll fill in everything in my outline later if I have time or tomorrow while I'm at school so that's pretty much it but I want to do some writing before I fall asleep tonight and then I'm also the Patriots are on right now they're playing the Green Bay Packers which honestly and I know has, has nothing to do with writing or reading but I you guys know I love my Patriots I'm from Boston and I also really like Aaron Rodgers as a quarterback for the Green Bay Packers he is one of my heroes along with Brady of course but it's a really fun matchup and the game is going really well the Patriots currently are winning so that's awesome but I have a feeling it's going to be a good rest of the game and I can't wait to watch the rest of it. So anyways, before we go on a tangent about football, I'm going to go ahead and end this clip here and I will talk to you guys probably in the morning. So I'll see you then. Alright guys, so it is now Monday and it's time to wrap up this week's reading vlog. So this week was full of writing and not much reading. As far as reading, I did read a little bit more of Misery. I'm on page 86 of it right now and then as far as Queen of Shadows which is behind me I'm still on page 370 of this so we'll see how I do with reading in this next week and as far as writing I'm at about 5500 words right now and my NaNoWriMo project today which we, you guys will see in next week's reading vlog is going to be kind of the week of catch up so We'll see how I do on that, but that's really all I have for this week's vlog, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Be sure to let me know 
in the comments down below what you guys read this week or how you are doing on your NaNoWriMo project because I would love to know. And as always, all my social media links are linked down below for you guys to go check out if you want to follow me on any of those. And all being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching today. Bye!